Hello everyone and welcome to Sewing Saturdays. Uh, my name is Gina. Um, last week I didn't put a video. Now until Christmas would be kind of hard to uh, be putting a video every week. I will do my best to always do a video. But uh, there's some weeks it might be uh, a little bit harder. But this week I would like to uh, show you guys how to do this little... It looks like a little basket. I don't know if you can see it properly. So you open, so inside is a basket, and this also you can put it in your table um, to use it for other things. I added um, little snowflakes, as you see here. I added little snowflakes just to add a little bit detail, and um, I think it's kind of you know a different type of idea of what you can use it for. So you can also even put it up here and have it like that and uh, so at least would give you a better a better way of using it or you can use just that or you can use the bowl this one like that you know and um, when you put it together it literally looks like a little house so you can use it for Christmas or anything. The one that I'm going to do now is going to be for my sewing room. So I'm going to be using more like um, sewing fabrics. So let's get started. I think we're going to be getting started with um, this top here. So the top here of the basket. So for that, um, we're going to be needed to cut this shape here that I have. And I picked these fabrics here. And... Um, we're going to need two colors. As you see here, I have two colors. I have a white and a silver. Um, and then I, I chose a different color for the inside, but you can even use the same color. Uh, so you're going to need six of each of this shape. I will be on the description in the bottom. I will add the shape so you guys can cut it. So we're going to need six of each. So I have six gray and six of this color. Um, I'm going to go ahead and sew these uh, because after I have this sewed in, I'm going to show you what you need to cut for your back, for your inside and uh, a stabilizer to do that. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm going to try um, to go step by step and giving you uh, the instructions so if you need a written instructions, um, I would suggest you get a pen and, pen, pen and pencil, sorry about that, and try to uh, make notes so you don't have to always go back to the video, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and sew these, and the way I'm going to sew these is one like this, then this is how we're going to sew them. Right? All right, this is how we're gonna sew them. So I suggest you divide this in halves like that and like that. Sew this half first and then sew this other half. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and sew them and I'll be right back. So I'm back. Sorry, you're going to get some uh, shadows here and there because I have the sun coming in through the door and it's definitely giving a few different colors and shadows. Um, so after you sew this, this is how it's going to end up looking like. So then you're going to get some fabric for your lining for the back. And I think I had here, it's about a fat quarter, so that can do. But before that... We're going to stabilize it. So I have here um, uh, a stabilizer because I want it to be a little bit thicker. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to cut this size. This is actually an iron-on stabilizer that I'm going to be using. It's a Pellon product I've used in a lot of other uh, of my videos. Um, so I'm just gonna go here and cut the shape and iron it on. Alright, so 
I'm just gonna go kind of roughly and then I can always trim it so you're gonna go ahead and fuse this to this side after it's fused you're gonna get your other fabric you're gonna put right sides together I'm not even gonna cut the shape I'm just gonna put it like this all right and I'm gonna go to the sewing machine and sew all the way around I don't need to leave any openings here because I have an opening here so I'm gonna flip it to the right side through here so I'm gonna go ahead and do that quickly and I'll be right back okay so I sew this all the way around so now I'm just gonna trim it quickly and flip it to the right side okay so I used a quarter of an inch seam allowance just in case you're wondering what seam allowance I use Okay, so before I turn it to the other side, I'm going to trim all my tips. Okay, and also here where you have that little V, you're going to have to cut that closer to the seam. Just do slightly, don't cut your seam. Now you can turn it to the other side. So through the hole in the middle, you're gonna bring this all out to the other side. So you're going to take this to the iron and press it. Fix any other corners, that, any other little corners that you need. So you have those sharp points. Maybe a set of scissors or a knitting needle sometimes I use just to get on those corners. So I'm going to go ahead and iron this. After you iron this, I'm just going to tell you the next step so I can go and do mine. I want this to be my tip here, this folded here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and I'm going to do this. I'm going to fold. See my tip here? See like that? And let me just show you. And we're going to do a seam here, like a stitch in a ditch type of thing. Right in there. Okay, then you're going to do the same to this one. You fold. And the same to this one. Of course, this needs to be pressed first, so to be more crisp. Okay, but you got the idea, right? You're going to fold all of them like that. All right, so I start to create that shape. After you've done that, we're going to press these down like that, all the way up. But first, we're going to be sewing them. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm going to go sew them, and I'll be right back. So I'm back. So I sew all the, the stone area here, so I sew all of those together. And what I did, I took it to the iron, and I 
open these up like that and I flat them. But you don't have to. If you want to leave it like that, you can also leave it that way. But I prefer that it's flat. So you're going to end up with a piece like that. Okay? So this is what it's going to look like. If you want this to set on the table a little better, like as a bowl bowl, what you can do is you can open, you can cut a little bit more down here and make this this opening here bigger. You know, mine I'm going to leave it like that. Okay? So now we need to make a top for this to go on top. So what I have here, I have two pieces uh, of fabric that I already put together and I'm also going to put some um, stabilizer and I drew a shape here. So I will uh, provide this shape on the description so you guys can print. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to touch that to there, to the top of my, of my top. Okay, just like this one, something like that. What I have here, at top. So when I put it down, it will sit like that. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and... Um, so on the line because what I did is I traced it and uh, and then I'm gonna go sew on that line and um, and I'll bring and I'm gonna turn it inside out and um, so and and then I'll show you how you're gonna touch it just a sec so I'm back I saw my shape and on these little corners here you're going to try to trim if you need to. I use picking shears so I could get closer to my seam. But if you still need to cut a little bit there, just go ahead and open that slightly. But you probably don't need very much. And in this case here, you have to decide what color do you want on top. And in my case, I'm going to put the stone here. So I'm going to go here, go ahead here. And on this side, that's not the stone. I'm actually going to rip a piece here in the middle so I can flip it inside out just make sure you don't cut your your other layer so I'm just gonna slightly open a little bit here so I can bring this out I think I don't have enough okay like that and you're gonna turn this to the other side. This gets a little bit more difficult but the hole is small but you can make it slightly bigger and the reason that I'm opening it there is because I already have this fabric you see this fabric in here so that's going to be my inside so even if it has a hole in the other side you're not going to see it. Alright so let's just turn this out just because it has, fused, has stabilizer so it makes it a little bit more difficult but it should be okay let's see small things always harder to turn than bigger things all right so you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna go after you turn it to the right side you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna iron it okay you're gonna iron it and then we're going to actually attach this by hand. Okay, because I want this to be uh, like flat so we'll, we'll sit like that as a bowl. Okay. But before that, you see we have this fabric that was extra. What I'm going to do, I'm going to get a needle and thread. And I'm kind of going to, I'm going to gather that that fabric so it's not on the way after. So I'm just gonna go around here and catch just like a, a basting stitch with a needle and I'm gonna sew as a gathering stitch. Oh that didn't work. I didn't put the knot. It came out. Hold on. Let me see. So you're going to twist it a little bit and then 
just do a couple stitches there like that okay let's put a knot and just a couple of gathering stitches all right okay and It's better if you use the same color thread so you don't see it on the other side. Here I have black thread on on mine, so just to keep that in place. Okay, so you're not gonna really see it on the inside. All right, but do the same thread, the same color, so you really don't see it. I'm gonna just secure that. And after I have this ironed on, where I'm gonna go here, and you know these little curves here? One of these for each one of them. See that? So you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna touch that. Okay, another way you, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just iron this and I'm going to start attaching it. So I show you how you do it. Okay, if you want another way that you can do it also, you can add um, a little bit of binding before you sew this part here. You can add a little bit of binding so to have a better finish and then attach that on top, you know. Um, so you would get a little piece of fabric, you would cut two inches, and then you would sew this around here, like that, all the way around, all right, I don't know, this is too big for me to show you, let me, let me just show you for a second, so at least you have the idea, so if you have other options, so if you don't want to, you know, just, just give me a second, so let's see. So before, I'm actually going to take my stitches out, well, let's see. So you would go here, but you would have to do it before you, you uh, secure your fabric here, because otherwise you don't have it too much room to work with, like this would be a little bit more difficult. But you could definitely do this, attach that there, all the way around. All right, just to finish it off. Let's see if I can. And then you would turn this in and do another seam. Okay? You know what? Maybe what I'll do, I'll um I'll take my stitching out and I will do that way so you, at least you have another option. If you want the easier way, you can just do it this way and then attach your top and you sew these by hand. But I'm going to show you the other way. I think we'll look, you know, more finished, especially these areas here that has raw edges. So I'm going to take this out, my stitching that I secure here quickly, and I'm going to go ahead and put the binding around. Okay, so let me see if I can just take these stitches out quickly. Okay, so because I have that extra fabric, I can push that in, right? So by pushing that in, you see it has kind of a, you know, extra fabric in there. So it's a little easier if I wanted to touch a binding. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna trim that, all right? And I think I'm only just gonna do uh, about, this here is two and a half inches. But you're going to trim it down maybe to um, two inches. This is just a big strip that I have here. And what I want you to do, because we already have a lot of bulk here, so we don't want to do this folded. Because if we do fold it, again, there's another two layers. By the time you turn it here, you have way too many layers here. And then 
in here it's going to be very difficult to sew because it's very thick you see that over that so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to sew this open like this all the way around and this case here is better if you use fabric that's cut in the bias I don't know if you know what is what it means by the bias is you know for example let me show you here in the fat quarter you would cut your strip diagonal like that so it will move with the circle so it will move around easier because we'll have a little bit of stretch you see that so if you cut it that way the strip then it will move it will have a little bit stretch will be easier to attach okay so I'm gonna go ahead and sew this all the way around and I'll bring it back and show you what it looks like okay so I put that binding around and I'm gonna be honest with you this is not easy to sew because you don't have a lot of space to work with because it's a very small circle so going around can be slightly difficult so if you think you're gonna have a hard time just do as I show you original just attach the stop to the top in my case here what I'm gonna do now I'm actually gonna fold this here I'm gonna fold and then fold and I still have to sew this again around you see that so I'm gonna since my fabric is open that's two inches and see on the bias it gives a little bit so it's easier to sew around circles but because this is a very tiny circle it can get difficult to sew around it because you have to sew this around like that and then of course you got to join your fabric here on the side all right just to complete the the circle so now what you need to do is you need to fold this in and we sew it down okay so down and down and sew it again okay so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna do that seam there just to finish that off I'm gonna sew that quickly and I'm gonna go ahead after I sew this on Okay, I'm just going to put a couple pins here. That's what it would end up. Okay, so I'm finishing my edges. So at least looks more finished there. And then I'm going to get this part here. Okay. And again, like I mentioned to you, I'm going to touch these by hand. So I would do a knot here. And from the inside out here, I would put my tip to that. And I would sew this down here. A couple stitches. Just to... I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. So I'll go here. I want to sew it from the bottom because I don't want to see the thread. So I would go here and oh, and I have a big knot on my see. Okay, good. Right. So I would secure it from the bottom here. Okay, just do a couple stitches on it in every corner. Then you'll go here, touch that one there. You will touch that one there. And then this one here. And then this one here. Then when you're done, ends up like that. And when you want to put it down, ends up like that. So you end up with a little bit of the fabric here in the, in the inside like that. Okay, I don't know if you can see it. There you go. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and sew that and um, uh, I'm going to start giving the instructions also for um, for our um, bottom. So with the bottom here I have I picked this fabric 
and um, this is going to be my lining okay and then I'm going to need to use some circles for the bottom I, I'm going to provide the circle on uh, on the description so you guys can print let me just grab a measuring tape and I'll give you the proper measurements. I'll try to give you in inches and also in centimeters. So for those that deal only with centimeters, they'll understand. Okay, so my circle has 17 centimeters by 17, so it's uh, 17 all the way around. In inches would be about a Six, about six and a half, all right, By, and then six and a half, and my pieces to go around I have here in inches, I have 19, 19 and a quarter inches by seven, by, yeah, by six and a half, okay, so we have 19 and a quarter by six and a half. And on centimeters, we have about 49 by 17 centimeters. All right. So and you're going to need for the outside, soft and stable for the middle. It's like a sponge. And this one is not fusible. So, and, and then lining for the inside. And then we also gonna need for our bottom a circle, one for the lining and one for the outside. So the first thing you're gonna do is we're gonna few, we're gonna go to the machine and we're gonna do a zigzag around here just to secure all her sponges on the outside of your fabric, the outside fabric that you picked. In this case, I'm gonna do this, my outside. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do a quick zigzag all the way around, okay? After I've done that, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna join them here. So I'm gonna do a seam here, okay? So zigzag to secure the sponge in place. Then you're gonna do a seam here, about a quarter of an inch seam down here, all right? And uh, then you're gonna do the same with the lining. So you're gonna join that also. Okay, you're gonna join that there. You're also gonna do a zigzag all the way around just to secure your sponge to your outside, to the outside fabric, like what I did here. Okay, gonna do all those and I'll be right back. So I'm back. As you see, I did a zigzag all the way around. And I also did the zigzag all the way around here and here just to hold the sponge in place. Then I did, I use uh, a regular foot in my sewing machine and I put my needle in the middle position. So it's slightly bigger than a quarter of an inch, but more like, you know, just a regular, just slightly bigger than a quarter of an inch, but not, not much difference. Okay, so now we're gonna touch our our bottom. So make sure your fabric, you're attaching the bottom to the right side of your fabric because if you see here, the houses should be standing up. Okay, so just make sure you check. So uh, if my houses are standing up, my bottom has to go here. So I'm going to go here. So what I'm going to go here, I'm going to mark my middle and middle. And then the middle, put those two together, and middle and middle, just to make it a little bit easier. Okay, same thing with this. So this is one side. I'm going to go here, put a pin on this side, and one here, and one here. So I have four sides because one of this is my seam here. So now I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna pin these together. So I'm gonna go here where my pins go. 
So I'm going to put a pin here. Where's my other pin? Pin here. And one here. And the other one right over here. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and sew this around. Okay, so I'm going to sew this all the way around. Also, I'm going to do the same with my lining. So I already sewed the sides here, here, and I'm going to do exactly the same thing to my lining. I'm going to fold it and pin it that way, do exactly what I did to this one. Same exactly thing. And I'm going to be sewing those and I'll be right back. So I'm back. So I attach my circles to the bottom and also to my lining, my circle. I'm Now I'm gonna always make sure before you attach your lining to this part here that you check, make sure you cut all your fabrics because sometimes that can happen. And if you have any little threads that you need to trim, just trim them up. All right, and I think mine seems like I cut everything. I think I'm okay just kind of fix it around a little bit so and if you see needs anything sewed in just go back to the machine and re-sew it so then I have my bottom so now I'm going to touch my lining I'm going to put right sides together and I'm going to go around I'm going to put seam to seam this seam to this seam sew it all the way around okay do a quick sewing around and then you're gonna pick a couple sti stitches here I'm gonna pick them out take them out and you're gonna flip it to the right side turn it to the right side okay so I'm gonna go ahead and do that I'll be right back Okay, and I'm done. So I did my top stitch all the way around. I still need to do my closing. Okay, on the inside, but otherwise it's okay. See, on this one I left the fabric on top. And this one I actually sewed it in. So I also sewed all my top here by hand to the top. So it looks like that. So I sew all of that around by hand and then my my little bowl is done for my sewing room so now I can put a couple of things in there I also what I did is see see if I can show you what it looks like just getting too many shadows with the sun and the lights and so it's kind of hard to to see so but that's literally what it looks like I also went ahead and I made a tiny little pin cushion that I will be attaching it here maybe with a snap just to have it on the side all right so I hope you guys enjoyed this this video hopefully you guys can make these for your sewing room or for any room of your house um, well thank you for watching and we'll see you next time happy sewing everyone <laughs>